Posse, it's Beetle Boy, and today we'll be doing another story video. No So I kinda this is the story about how I kinda ruined my mom's birthday. And I put kinda because when I went when I saw her reaction, she wasn't that mad at me. So uh, I didn't really mess it up, but in my eye, in my eyes and everybody else's, I kinda messed up her birthday. So I, is it a bad thing to not know how old your mother is? I mean, that, th that whole thing about, you know, women keeping their age a secret and stuff. Sometimes it's just a little too much, you know? Not a little too much, but then it's really hard. Like, someone asks you, you should know your, you should know you, some of your family members and stuff, how old, exactly how old they are. But with my mom, it's like, mm -hmm, you know? So back to the story, this is one of my mother's birthdays, and she had done a lot of things, I mean, I think she had went out a little bit, she, and we were just getting ready for her big gigantic party, you know? I can, I can think, I, I think I remember she had like a cheesecake or something for her, you know, I think she had a cheesecake for something for her birthday, it was pretty awesome. Well, this is back at my, sh yeah, we... We did this at my sister's old house. Now, this old house, we were there for a little bit. It was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. And this is around the time where... I think I was in, like, second-ish grade. Yeah, probably, like, second-ish grade. You know, so stupid, dumb, dumb, dumb little boy, right? So, just chilling up in the room, doing things. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know, we're, we're not gonna stretch this out to 10 minutes, hell, it'll probably be somewhere near 8 minutes, <laughs> like, cause I can barely, cause I barely, I can barely tell about how I dropped my mom's cake, you know, I think I've done that more than twice, but, pretty much what's happened is, my mom was doing her birthday party, you know, everybody was having a nice time, and I guess we we're about to go out and do a little happy birthday to you, happy, so that was, that, that's what happened, we went to my sister, we went to, yeah, we went to my sister, she was in the room, she was in the thing, I was like, can I carry my mom's cake, now, oh, that is a bad thing, now, I'm a little kid, alright, so at the, at the time, little itty bitty boy, you know, I'm really bad at, I'm just not, I, I, my arm strength isn't there, that's all I gotta say, I'm not gonna be like, I'm bad at anything, but arm strength is not there, so when I went to go try and lift up my mom's cake, eh, it was heavy, but I think I could have to handle it, I think what happened was, yeah, I, I remember a little, a little bit more now, so we were headed down to go put the cake on her lap, or not her lap, but you know, the table next to her. But as it was falling, the cake, like, some of the cake, like, fell onto her lap, you know? So, like, in a falling motion. Everyone was like, oh my god, Ryan, what did you do? I'm like, oh man, I really messed up mom's birthday there, right? But, surprisingly, mom wasn't mad. I don't really think I remember all the, any other times I kind of, like, messed up birthdays, but... I can go tell you what I did for, like, previous birthdays, so that'll be part of... That'll be part of the video, because, you know... We, we gotta talk for a little bit. This is my... This is the upload I'm supposed to upload on Thursday. And I kind of I kinda don't want to leave you with a four-minute video. So, stuff I've done on my birthday before... There was a time I went to the beach. So, I think it was for my 10th birthday. Oh, yeah, this would be the, also the story of how I got my Xbox on my birthday. So... Yeah, I remember, I remember quite vividly, it was the, so I'll tell you what I did the day before. The day before, my, like, on my birthday, my sisters and I, we went to the beach. So, oh, man, it was like a seven hour, like, it was like a five hour drive. When, yeah, along the way, we made, like, pit stops to where we went to stuff like, we made pit stops to places like family dollar and stuff because we wanted to pick up snorkels and stuff and oh man we were wrong because you know the the, the the sand just gets all up in that man what was that's the point 
when we got there it was pretty it was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie we did things like <laughs> we did that thing where when you go to the you go to the uh, ocean right and you just like stand out in the ocean and, like the ocean just like punches you back oh man that was really that was really fun so another thing we did was they buried that was i actually had my first time getting buried in sand you know so like what happened was that we were at the beach literally she just told me to lay down and then like i was up to my head sand so that was pretty fun. I think they had a picture, but you know, up to my fan, uh, up to my like neck and chin. Pretty fun. But yeah, now it's the revealing story. The revealing story of how I got my Xbox. So how did I get my Xbox, people? It was the day after we went to the beach. Now, you know, we're having a lot of fun. I remember exactly what we were watching too. It was July 4th, so the episode of Teen Titans where Robin was fighting uh, George Washington was on. You know, I think they were in the middle of the fight when my mother said, Ryan, go into the other room, right? So I didn't know what they wanted at first. But I think they said, yeah, I think they said, Ryan, go in the other room. He'll go in the other room. We've got a surprise. So, I go into the other room, and I, got, I start kind of getting excited, because I think they knew what I want, but I'm not sure. I really, like, wanted them to keep a secret. I'm like, don't tell me, don't tell me. I really want to know, I really want to know. So, they blindfold me, and they put me up into the room. Now, me being the little boy that I am, man, I, like... I'm all excited, I'm like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. What am I gonna get? So they put a blindfold on me. And I start to walk out the room. Walk out the room down the hallway. Each step is filled with excitement, you know? And when I go in there, they slowly tell me to take off my blinds. And you know what I find? Xbox 360, and with the game, and what is it, it's saying Play Minecraft, like, with the button saying on Play Minecraft, I was so excited, I was so, I was so eccentric, I was like, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, hunger, I was so, I was so happy, beyond belief, about what my parents got me, and that's kind of what started to get me into my gaming career, you know? Uh, the first day I played Minecraft, I actually have a server for that, but the first day I played Minecraft, I died. We have enough time to tell you how I died, but pretty much, you know, I'm, I was so excited to wanting to explore the game. That I forgot what the, the number one rule of being a, a Minecraft, you know, being playing Minecraft and build that building shelter by night. The graphics were turned down so low that I couldn't see anything, so I was just running around in the dark, basically. And then I just started to hear like something like shooting at me. So I'm running around like an idiot. I'm like, oh my god, help, 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 a beast. Shot at terrorist. Oh my god, no. Help. And I get shot at the time, fix some fall damage, and you wanna know what happens? I'm shot by a skeleton. But, you know, that was a pretty fun experience, I gotta say. So this is the end of the video. But before the end of the video, I just want to let you guys know, I'm uploading this today, the same day I'm uploading this, which is Thursday. Tomorrow we are going to have some Friday the 13th content, because, you know, can you guess what tomorrow is? A doy? Friday the 13th, some hilarious content waiting to happen. And I can't wait to see you guys, you know, on my reaction of playing Friday the 13th with my friends. If you guys like this video, like comment and subscribe you guys don't have to but show your support so it's been it's been beetle it's been professor beetle boy here and i will see you guys in the next video au revoir hey baby going holding the light your way this light will shine and make a brand new day Rock up. Rock up. Rock up. 
I'm trying to shine on a new day, shine in a new way. Shine where the light touches, shine where it doesn't. I saw a fairy who I thought was kind of scary, but instead gave me lots of berries that made me somewhat caring. She was broke.